So that crackling sound is actually the vaporization of water. And when that happens, uh, basically ruptures the oil film and sends oil droplets flying everywhere. So you'll see if you remove the pan, you'll get a nice ring of oil droplets and some of them hit your arm and normally you're cursing when that happens because it's actually quite painful. After this explosion, there are often water droplets in the oil droplets in the air mm -hmm. and then they'll sometimes explode too so you get these beautiful jets like just mid-air yeah which is really i mean it's gorgeous we wanted to understand exactly what was going on in that process so we just have a mini frying pan which is about an, an aluminium plate or steel plate about that big yeah. and it has a little well that we put the oil in and we just let that heat up and we measure the temperature with the thermocouple so we know exactly what the temperature is so it's not just low, medium, or high, we know exactly what the oil temperature really is. Mm -hmm. And then we film it with the high-speed camera and do the aerosol sizing measurements. When these droplets fly out, you get some of the ones that hit your skin, probably millimetric in size. But it's the other stuff that you don't see and you don't feel, uh, which we think is uh, potentially hazardous and adding to indoor um, air pollution. Anything less than two and a half microns in size is respirable and can go down to the lower branches of the lungs. Some of these are down to sub-micron, so they're hundreds of nanometers in size. That's the smallest we've been able to measure yet. So they can be suspended in the air for weeks. I guess our advice would be to use the ventilation system yeah. if you have it and uh, clean the filters as well.